When I think about the future and I think about the things that I'm doing with my kids now, I absolutely worry. When I think about, you know, the future for Mia, will all year long be wildfire season here in Colorado? Will they have to sort of suffer through more smoke? Will she be able to spend the summers outside because it's manageable and not too hot? In asking people across the country, you know, how concerned are you about climate change? 83% of moms want to do something about climate change because they're worried about their child's future. They're worried about it, but they don't understand it and don't feel like they have any power to communicate their worry. And so we're moms. We want to connect with other moms. I'm a co-founder of Science Moms. We are a nonpartisan group of climate scientists and also mothers who really want to provide moms the information that they need to take action on climate change. As a researcher who studies the Arctic, I study Arctic climate change, really got me to think about, you know, how will the environment in which my daughter can grow up in, what will that even look like? Some of my work on uh, climate change and wildfires, when I think about the timescales for increases in wildfire frequency and intensity, that's very concerning from the perspective of a parent raising children on those timescales. So when we're trying to put this urgency in terms of a timeline that people understand. So for example, the timeline of which I have to take my children from their elementary school age, which is where they are right now, up to college, right? That's the timeline where we need very significant action on climate change. With Science Moms, I think we'll continue to, to talk about it. The more we can get people to talk about it, to think about it, to see that this is not a faraway threat, it's a local threat that's impacting all of us. Can I push them on the okay, let's try it. When I think about mitigating climate change, I think about it in a very positive way, as a way of preserving the way of life, not as a large sacrifice. as preserving the kinds of places that we want to take our families. I have a five-year-old. Um, I'm maybe not using the words climate change with her, but I'm using, think about the beauty of the earth around us, the creatures that are here, the changes in our trees, the beauty of our, our forests here in Colorado as well. We care about our kids. We care about the future for our kids. We want to make sure that their lives are better than our lives. And as a mother, we'll do anything in order to make that a reality for them.